million Americans go undiagnosed, which means that they have serious health complications. In the article, Celiac Disease, by Dr. Fasano and Dr. Tassi, published by the New England Journal of Medicine, celiac disease is defined as a systematic immune mediated disorder triggered by dietary gluten in people susceptible. Uh, with people who have celiac disease, if they eat gluten, their immune system responds by damaging their small intestine. Gluten is in wheat, barley, and rye. Uh, though I am not celiac myself, I am gluten intolerant, so, and so is the rest of my family, so I feel as if I have a good understanding of what celiac disease is since I thought I had it myself. Today, I'm going to talk, to about, uh, talk about why people have celiac disease, its symptoms, how to get screened and diagnosed, and living with the disease itself. Uh, so first, I'm going to talk about why people have celiac disease and its symptoms. Well, the database Medline Plus, found on the Cal Poly website, to, uh, says that celiac disease is a genetic condition. Uh, as you can see here, a if a one parent has celiac disease and the other doesn't, the child has a 50% chance of developing the disease themselves. And if you have a first degree relative, like a sibling, you have a one in 10 chance of getting it. People with celiac disease either have the genes HLA-DQ2 or DQ8 gene. And um, at, in regards to symptoms, children have more digestive systems like uh, vomiting, weight loss, and bloating. And they also can have symptoms like fatigue, scented growth, and failure to thrive. In adults though, the symptoms can are like a wide range from anemia, arthritis, joint pain, to depression. Um, so how to get screened and diagnosed for celiac disease? So who should get screened? Children three years and older who are experiencing the symptoms, people with first degree relatives with celiac disease, and, and people who already have an autoimmune disorder, so they're more susceptible to it. Uh, the Mayo Medical Clinic states that there are several blood tests available that screen people for celiac disease antibodies, but the most common one is the TTGA test, uh, which screens for those antibodies, but if your test comes back negative and you're still experiencing the symptoms, you can have an endoscopic biopsy, which is uh, done by a gastroenterologist. It's where they take a biopsy of your small intestine and uh, see if it looks like someone who would have celiac disease. So here, in, in a person without celiac disease, you see that the villi on the small intestine are like kind of floating around and not squished, but on a damaged person, they are, and then you can't like absorb certain nutrients like a normal person would. Uh, so living with celiac disease can be a struggle, but if you know, uh, if you know the, uh, the foods and stuff you can eat, it's much easier. So the only treatment for celiac disease is a 100% gluten-free diet. Um, so that means you can't eat, but you can't eat wheat, barley, or rye. Uh, the Celiac Disease Foundation states that you can eat all fruits, veggies, uh, meats, fish, dairy, and beans, and also uh, gluten-free uh, grains such as rice, corn, potatoes, and quinoa. There are also a lot of gluten-free uh, alternatives in grocery stores, and uh, my favorite brand is Glutino, and it tastes really good. And also at 805, there's also a gluten-free like station there, which is nice. <laughs> so to conclude, uh, celiac disease is an autoimmune disorder that damages the small intestine. Uh, so I'm glad that I got to enhance your knowledge on this topic with how, why people have it, its symptoms, how to get screened, and living with the disease itself since celiac disease is such a serious uh, disorder. Maybe one day there will be a cure. <laughs>